All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm Brian Bellendorf, uh, and I'm the general manager of the Open Source Security Foundation. And I'd like to introduce uh, or, or welcome all of you, sorry, to the very first Open SSF Day Japan. Uh, thank you all for attending. Um, we have done a couple of other Open SSF Day events in uh, one in, the Europe, in Europe, at, in Dublin, uh, as well as in Austin, Texas. And it's really a chance for us to a bit come together as a community of people interested in security uh, in the open source landscape and, and really thus the entire software ecosystem, uh, but also a chance to help recruit more people to our projects, more, uh, more people to uh, uh, the different initiatives going on on, and uh, I think you'll find what we're doing incredibly uh, fascinating, I hope, uh, perhaps even uh, daunting, but uh, I hope what you find are lots of opportunities to uh, get involved and jump in and find things that you can use in your work, in your daily life, uh, uh, but also really invest yourself into. Um, just a few housekeeping notes. Uh, uh, in addition to the fact that this meeting, like all Linux Foundation events, is governed by the Linux Foundation Code of Conduct, I, I, I also wanted to mention that uh, we are <coughs> uh, recording this on YouTube. So if any of you feel uh, like uh, recording these sessions, and we'll be put, putting them up on YouTube, actually. So if any of you feel like you need to take a break uh, and come back, don't worry. You won't miss a thing. Um, we have a very tight uh, two and a half hours here together today. Uh, and, but before I jump in and tell you more about the agenda, I want to just help, uh, help level set who we are and what we're about. The OpenSSF is a cross-industry collaboration that brings together leaders in software, open source software, leaders in security, uh, to improve the security of open source software uh, by building an expert community focused on the uh, topic, by running some targeted initiatives, software and, and others, uh, and pulling together a set of best practices that can uplift uh, all developers and how they write code. Um, we're really trying to focus in, in particular on software technologies that we can build that push the envelope on this, on um, pulling together resources to go and help other open source projects with what they're doing, uh, and really uh, develop a, a cross-industry expertise uh, in how open source software works and how the supply chain can really be improved. Um, there are six kind of different ways that we operate. Uh, I won't go into too much detail on these things, but if you think about like what we do is very different than say what the CNCF does or automotive grade Linux, where you know they have a particular category of software that they're interested in. We are one step more uh, meta. If you, if, if, if that's a, it's a, I don't know how that word translates, but we kind of sit above uh, a lot of these different efforts. We uh, we're trying to help figure out what are the priorities. How do we find the the next log for j and keep it from happening, or the next 100 projects that uh, might each have a tiny little risk of being the next log for j and suffer from a big uh, breach. Um, how might we automate the tools that we're using uh, across the software ecosystem uh, to have security baked in really as a more core default? How do we educate uh, the world's software developers, open source and otherwise, to uh, uh, just get better at what they do? How do we help incentivize fixes to open source code? We're really good, at, we're pretty good, let me say, at finding vulnerabilities, but how do we go and get those fixes into the upstream code and then adopted uh, throughout the industry? Uh, how do we help the world be just much more informed about the differences between open source software that is secure and those that don't tend to have the same priorities, or the same processes that can lead to more secure code? So how do we paint a picture of risk across the open source landscape? And then finally, how do we help standardize what everybody is doing in slightly different ways when it comes to securing the software supply chain? Lots of companies have home-built tools and scripts that, that do different things, lots of different taxonomies, ter terminologies out there. How do we really, across the industry, get to a converged sense of how we work together? Um, this slide uh, is very busy. There's a whole lot of information on here. <laughs> this slide shows you <clears throat> at, uh, at the OpenSSF what our different working groups are working on, uh, our, uh, the top-level project we have now called Project SigStore you'll be hearing more about today, uh, uh, and a couple of associated projects we have as well. I'm not going to go into depth on this slide right now, but I'll mention right after I speak, you will hear David Wheeler talk quite a bit about the work of the Best Practices Working Group uh, and, and probably touch on some other things going on in other projects while well, he does that. Um, you'll hear Bob Calloway talk about SigStore, which is really our key top-level project at this point. Uh, and you'll hear bits and pieces from some other projects as well. 
The OpenSSF is governed, uh, like many Linux Foundation projects, with kind of a two-part top-level governance. It's the governing board who manage the budget and figure out what are the strategic priorities. Uh, priorities for us, and the Technical Advisory Council, which really tries to bring uh, uh, the technical uh, 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 clarity and vetting to all the activities underneath, all the different working groups and the associated and top-level projects. Uh, uh, this kind of bicameral, uh, uh, this really closely uh, uh, combined governance, we think, is the right balancing act uh, to make sure what we're building is not only technically the right thing, but will actually be adopted by the industry. And we've received this year a whole lot of different news. I won't go into the different uh, aspects of it, but um, about this time last year, many of you, I'm sure, were scrambling to fix uh, a vulnerability in the Log4j uh, 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 logging framework that called log for shell that was disrupting everybody's December, disrupted a lot of people, people's holiday. And it helped crystallize, I think, for much of the world, and certainly for us, why we're here, what we're trying to do. Um, as, as six months after the, that incident, seven months after, uh, the US government issued a report that they pulled all these experts together and said, what led to this vulnerability and what let, made it so complicated and expensive and disruptive for us to fix? And this report is really great to read. I highly encourage all of you to read it. But it cited the OpenSSF uh, 13 times as having potential pieces of a solution to the many deep problems that it cited. In fact, uh, we pulled together the insights that that report generated and many others that we knew internally we had to go and focus on and developed uh, also around the middle of this year a mobilization plan focusing on 10 different streams of work uh, uh, that really would uplift everything that we're doing here and even talked about some new things that are underway um, and ways that we might apply funding both from the private sector as well as from governments uh, to go and fix a lot of these long-standing systemic issues. I won't go into depth on what those 10 are. Um, there's a whole lot behind it, and, and, and what you'll hear during today's presentations are like bits and pieces and hints, um, but, but certainly watch this space as we're developing, uh, uh, continue to develop this plan to go and tackle the, the challenges that we now see one year later. Um, I do want to thank, of course, uh, the members of the OpenSSF who make this possible. Um, there are many companies here on this chart who represent the cloud and infrastructure and software developer tool kind of landscape. Uh, basically, everybody who's relevant in this community is now a part. But you'll also see uh, financial services firms there, uh, such as uh, Morgan Stanley and Citi and, and, and others. Uh, and so really want to thank them all, and in particular today, thank IBM uh, for their involvement in today's agenda. We also have now, between our premier members and our general members, over 100 different members of the OpenSSF helping us <coughs> – sorry – helping us uh, do what we do and, and financially support the organization, but also operationally. And this includes a couple of, uh, of you in the audience uh, who are based here in Japan, Saibozu, uh, Cybertrust, and Renesis in particular. I want to thank you for your involvement and participation, and we're certainly very eager to grow the representation from uh, the, the Japanese industry into the OpenSSF. So today's agenda uh, is really focused on giving you kind of an overview, a sweep of the, a couple of the activities going on here, um, as well as uh, some voices from Japan who are working on, uh, from companies based here, who are working on different aspects of OpenSSF technologies. Uh, uh, you'll hear just after me, David Wheeler, uh, who's also with the Linux Foundation, um, talking about the work of the Best Practices Working Group. Uh, you'll hear Bob Calloway from Google talk about SIGStore, uh, given overview of that and, and really the sense of momentum that has been generated there. You'll hear Fumi, uh, Fumiko Sato from IBM talking about how IBM is incorporating these tools and developing some new ones uh, to, uh, to bring security to the software supply chain. You'll hear uh, Yuji Watanabe from IBM as well talk about his work uh, in uh, uh, bringing Kubernetes, uh, building a plugin for Kubernetes to uh, use the SigStore's uh, signatures to, to really bring an end-to-end -end secure software development li life cycle. Um, you'll hear Mu Ikeda from Cybertrust talking about uh, his company's activities in the open source security mobilization plan. 
And finally, uh, Takuya Yoshikawa from Saibozu talking about uh, whether, uh, what, what's going on here in Japan regarding software bill of materials, SBOMs. It's very exciting stuff. So this is our two and a half hours together. Uh, hopefully this helps you know, uh, see the many different things that are happening here at the OpenSSF. Right now, though, I'd like to introduce my colleague, David Wheeler, uh, and i pause for a second as I transition to his presentation, hopefully in a very graceful way.